As you can see on the left side, we have access to both the steady state and the transient in our options. This allows us to copy and paste the boundary conditions that we have already set up for the steady state thermal, making it much easier so we don't have to redo everything. The next thing that we must worry about is the initial temperature. In the problem specification, everything is uniform at 300 Kelvin. If we were doing a non-uniform temperature, we would have to manually input using the steady state thermal. We now click on analysis settings. This is important for the transient tutorial as, it t as we have to tell how many steps, uh, how many time steps it must take and how long each time step are. So let us start with five steps and we will put the tabular data in for the time steps. Now through analysis and guess and check we figure out that the scale of our problem will be on the order of maybe uh, two microseconds. Let us evenly space the five time spe steps out to two microseconds. Now we will take a look at the same solution parameters as we had in the steady state. So again, we will select, copy, and paste them. Now let us hit solve. This might take a while, 